This is the plaintiff, Thomas Wilson. He says he's known the defendant for 52 years and was hired to repair the defendant's 2003 BMW. He worked in five degree freezing cold, only charging him a fraction of what it would have cost him at a BMW repair shop. And the louse is refusing to pay him the remaining balance of $490. He can't believe this guy would do that to him after 52 years. But hey, money is money, and he deserves to be paid, so he's suing. This is the defendant, Mike McLaren. He says the plaintiff is like family, but the guy got in over his head on this repair and ended up damaging more than he fixed. He had to bring a car to a mechanic who could fix what the plaintiff broke and was willing to write the whole thing off because of their history and couldn't believe his eyes when he was sued by the plaintiff. Oh, him? No way. He's accused of bemoaning a Beamer repair. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court Next Case. In the dock of the plaintiff has known the defendant for half a century. So imagine how he feels when he got stiffed after fixing the defendant's BMW. But the defendant says the plaintiff forward. broke more than he fixed. It's the case of the Beamer Schemer. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Mr. Wilson, how is it you and Mr. McLaren know each other? Well, when I was 16, his father hired me to run his clothing businesses um, and he hired you at 16 to run his clothing Yes, ma'am. I was a young boy working at a gas station for one of his deacons at the church, and he noticed my finale, and he told his wife, he said... He noticed your what? He, he noticed me working at the, at the gas station where I was doing people's cars with checking the oil and checking the tires and cleaning the windshield, and he told his wife, he says... He can run my business for me. She said, how can he do that? And he was a young boy. He's 16. Right. He's 16. That's what I would say. But anyway, but, yeah. so you ran his father's business for how long? Oh, about 50 years. We 50 ran, years? Yeah. Yes, my child was Did 50 years old. Did you work for your dad old. for that long? I say good 30, 40 years. Okay. Yeah. And so he, he worked for your dad for how long? I couldn't tell you that. My mother could probably tell you that because right. she was a partner. All right. So you um, hire him. You you. How did you come? How did you come into possession of this BMW? I bought the BMW. And it had a ton of problems, right? You knew that well, when you bought. Well, I had it, and it had some issues, and I were uh, I attended to those issues, and uh, one day the alternator blew. He shows up at my house. And says, "Hey." I know they want a lot to fix that. I'll save you the money. I'll, if you let me work on it, I'll fix it for almost half the cost. I thought about it, and I said, well, I do like the car. He knows I like the car. But I said, listen, man, I really don't want to mess with this car because I'm, me and my mother are actively looking for another vehicle. And I, I said, well, what I got to lose? I mean, I just well, specifically nine hundred and fifty dollars or something. Well, in your case, <laughs> how, how much did you pay him up front? I paid him nothing up front. What he did, he came to me and said, "Listen, give me two hundred dollars so I don't have to be coming to you every minute. I need to get something for the car." Now I said, "Hold on, you're supposed to be fixing the car. I'm buying the parts. I bought all the parts for the car." So I give him the two hundred. About a week and a half later, he told me his daughter got sick. He needs another two hundred. My mother said to me, Mike, you need to be careful because Tom's going to have that 950 and you're going to have a car that ain't running. I said, Mom, you think Tom would do that? And she said, listen, he's already got half the money already. So I said, okay, Tom, I'm not giving you no more money. And then two days later, he said, my job is done. I'm, I'm finished. I'm complete. I'm like, the car don't start. What are you talking about? Your job is done. The car don't even run. How is the job done if the car didn't even start? At the end of me putting the car back together, when I put the car back together... Did it run? It, it did not run. He had some O2 sensors that he was told were bad, all four, that would not let the car run. I did the alternator, and I did the valve cover gases, and I and in the top of it, I took the spark plugs and put new spark plugs in because okay. the car was full oil. Okay, all that's very nice, but you didn't. The car wasn't running. I wasn't running. supposed to make it run, ma'am. Oh, I was just okay. To do that. So your position is I'm supposed to do these limited jobs. I'm not supposed yeah, to all, have the car running. 
And your that position is? I don't have a thousand dollars to give somebody to, for sports. To, 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 All to, right. To get so the car I ended running. up working on the. This is from your complaint. I ended up working on the car for two weeks, four hours a day. The defendant gave me five hundred total when I was almost finished with the car. What does that mean? Almost finished. Because I had to put the the fan shroud and the and the clutch fan had to have a special tool to take this clutch fan off of BMW. I wanted I him told to told the defendant he'd need to pay me the 450 he still owed me and that I would like him to get a diagnostic guy to come over and run a scan so I could see what exactly was wrong with the car since it still wasn't running. If it's not your job to get it running, then why are you telling him he needs to get a diagnostic guy because Look at that, it's still not running. The, the O2 sensors were bad. It wouldn't make the car. I said, either the O2 sensor or something else, I troubleshoot me. I said, I can't troubleshoot the car without a scanner. Why are you hiring a clothing guy to do your car? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still at a loss. Like, what was his skill that he would be able to do this? This is why I walked away and oh, wait, said... Wait, when he was 16? Yo, no, this, <laughs> is, this is why I said I made a bad investment. I'll walk away. I'm not suing him. Which I should be, but he's suing me. I walked away. Why are you looking at him? He ain't gonna help you. Don't be looking at no, him. Look I'm at saying. me. I'm wearing the black you're dress. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, would you sue a friend you knew for half a century? That's 50 years. Over 490 bucks. Would you do that? Yeah. You would sue them for 490 bucks. Yes, I want my money. Uh, would you sue your birthday girl for like 10 dollars? Maybe. Would you sue her for 20 dollars? Maybe. Would you sue her for 50 dollars? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay, I got you at 50. Real, ah, screw it. I got you at 50. Going inside the courtroom. My father told me, hey, take the law so you know when you, you got your hand in the tiger's mouth, ease it out. Don't snatch it out. So I tried to ease like my that. hand up. And this is what I get. He's suing me. There you go. The defendant <laughs> then, this is still from your complaint, the defendant then started getting erratic, which didn't worry me because I'm a martial artist. <laughs> but I started packing, I know, he's a big guy. I, that would worry me. <laughs> All right, exactly. but I, I started packing up my stuff to leave because there wasn't anything else I could do if I couldn't diagnose the problem and get paid for my time. He wouldn't allow me to do call in a guy and pay no, no. a guy for diagnosis. Why wouldn't you just do it on your own? You wanted him to bring a guy over. I was going to bring the guy, but he had to pay the guy. He said, I'm not giving you another dime. Now, you end up taking that car to another mechanic, correct? Towing it? The next day. Now, this is after, after I had the police at my house. How, who called the police over? That's a great question. All I know, well, I one saw. One of you guys called the police. I saw his car lead four police officers in my driveway. Lead four police officers yes, to your driveway. His car was in front of the four cops. Okay. And they came in my driveway, and I let them talk because I, I said my wife and my mother was getting upset. I said I'm not going to let them get upset. This not this car is not going. It's not worth it. So I come out, and they told me his problem. I said, listen, officer. If you can get in that car, start that car, back it up to that mailbox, I'll give him his money. I got the money in the house. I'll give him his money. But and I paid him. He's supposed to do a job. That, that car's not running. And what did the officer do? Did I he get said, in the car? that seems like that's a... Civil matter. The civil matter. Right. Exactly what he said. Did the, did the said. police officer actually sit in the car and try to start it? No. Or? There was no need. The car, okay. <laughs> they took my word on it. So you took the car elsewhere. Where did the you take it? The next day, I took the car. I had the car towed because I wanted to make sure I wasn't overlooking something. I'm not trying to cheat nobody out of no money. I took the car, had it towed to a mechanic. They came back and told me, all right, the valve cover job, the right side was done right, the left side, it's oil's leaking out. Come over, you got to see this. I go over. Oil is pouring out of the side. Did it. you take a picture or a video no, for I me? No, because I didn't think I was going to be in court. So, all right, I said, go on and repair that. Then when they repair that, the radiator's leaking. I got to get a new radiator. That cost me another 500 Right, but that has nothing to do with him, oh, right? no. Well, he pulled, when you pull an alternator out of a BMW, the radiator, radiator's right there. So what happened, he busted the radiator, taking Says alternator. Says who, though? I don't see that I, in your... You don't see it, all right. right. I, I, like, in other words, okay. I don't see it on the report. I do okay, see it on the... I didn't do, let see, me see. I would have got a detailed report if I knew I was coming to court. Okay, did somebody kidnap you today and bring you here? No, no. Did happened? you ladies kidnap him no, and blindfold I, I, I him I and sent, bring him over I sent, here? Okay. I sent what I had. All right, so uh, right. show me the the um, Here's the, the paperwork from the second uh, repair right shop. Yeah, from, I mean, from the repair shop. The first repair shop. So you had to pay them another $1,000. That's correct. 
And then you were just chalking this up to, what was it? Pulling the, the hand slowly out of the tiger's mouth, don't right, yank it. Right, right. And I'm then trying, you got I'm sued. trying to ease out because I was getting rid of the car. Ease the hand out. I was trying What's to going on out. with the car right now? Uh, the car's sitting right outside right now. Oh, were you, so you, with so that I, I other in, thousand, you were able to drive it? Yeah, what happened, I ended up putting the money in the car, so they looked at it and they gave me a price. They repaired all the stuff that. I mean, according to this, to this shop, they had to redo something you did. And they charge them for it, too. Based on what I'm hearing, I'm not going to order him to pay you any more money. I'm not. I think, you know, he, he um, hired you to do this thinking it would fix things. You yourself admit you were demanding the money before you were even done. Um, it didn't fix things. And he ended up having to shell out another thousand. No. Verdict for the defendant. Thank you, Ron. So the judge is not going to give Mr. Wilson that $490 he was seeking because the judge says you didn't finish the job. And what you did, you didn't do it really well. What do you think? I couldn't start the car. They see it about covering acid leaks. So if that's the case, then it's okay. Okay. So yeah. you don't feel bad now? No, I feel you don't, bad. I didn't, don't feel I didn't bad that maybe do. you had done something wrong with it? No, I didn't do anything wrong. I couldn't start the car. Well. Wouldn't start. So yeah. they say not done wrong, I didn't do wrong. The valve cover gas, in order to check the valve cover gas, you have to be able to start yeah. the motor. Right. Well, the motor wouldn't start. Sorry about that. Not okay. Not Maybe you shouldn't repair cars. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good enough. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. McLaren, this was really crazy. What was that slogan again? When uh, you have the hand on the rump of a tiger? No, not on the rump. When you have I, your hand in the tiger's mouth. A mouth. I thought you yeah, said rump. No, <laughs> easy. Either one. <laughs> either, either one. one. Doesn't good. matter. Right. Right. That's right. All right. Well, you feel better? Yes, I do. I mean, you're surprised to get sued, weren't you? Yes. I, I, I have let the whole situation go. He brought it to me. I crazy, don't know why. Crazy. crazy. So you drove it here? Yes. It's right outside. Are you going to keep it or sell it? I'm going to keep it. Good for you. Yes. <laughs> well, congratulations. Yes, thank All you. right. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Okay. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Doug, if this were a little different and the plaintiff had actually done the job that he was supposed to do, tried to fix it, used reasonable care but didn't, it would have been a different story, but not the story here.